quick inspect like we like to do. Let's see what our hunter's rocking. We've got some nice Dark Moon cards. Lobi Trinket. He's in greens. He's got some nice boots. He's enchanted and proper as well. He's in green, so he's really cheesed his way into this dungeon, similar to me. He's got heroic heroic braces there. Nice heroic battle. He's done the quest. Not too bad. Another 3, 4, 6. I'm slightly more gear than us, slightly more greens, but he has itemized properly, and that's what's important. Still waiting for our druid to make his way over. There he is. So we'll take it upon ourselves to get us up to the second floor. Remember, don't push it too early, otherwise you're going to wait so much longer for everybody else to get here, and you don't want that. Rebuff our druid friend again. Should we investigate our druid friend who likes to die all the time? Let's see how he's rocking. Heroic trinket. Heroic trinket. Three, four, six. Epic boots. Couple of greens. Epic gloves. Epic relic slot. Heroic weapon. Epic braces. Wow. My man. My man. Oh, we have the usual argument. I personally don't mind. But our tank isn't going to do it. This could be a fail, guys. This could be the end of our heroic journey together today. This is so lovely. <laughs> This is a one-man's army of the healer standing up to his tank. We win. You lose. Whatever. What are we going to talk about is our hunt, our little druid friend here. He's got much more gear than me, all the hunter. Yet let's have a look at the totals. Look at our look at our druid friend, guys. Really way down at the bottom. So this is the kind of guy that you're seeing and you're looking for dungeons, which is exactly what my channel's here to sort of work against. Is these guys? He's got so much more gear than us. Yet consistently way down the bottom. Now we have seen him die quite early. So what can we say about that? One, uh, he could possibly be a clicker. Uh, a clicker just really slow you down and just stop you responding to stuff in a timely fashion. And we're going to look at that in a video next week. He could just generally be a bad player. Should we investigate his talents a little bit and see what we can see? Let's have a quick look. Let's inspect his talents. Noop. Our friend is a noop. Who does that want to be kicked? Uh, I don't particularly care. <laughs> this is the sort of rage we're getting, but we're not interested in that. I don't really know who Terra Vahuta is, so I'm not bothered. Talents are fine. This guy has the right talents. He doesn't have Solar Beam. I would have picked that up. I mean, given it was weight, I don't know really what's going on here. That's all. I'll let these guys sort it out. Um, so his talents are fine, guys. This is a really standard sort of Moonkin build. For a Heroic, I'd certainly pick up Solar Beam. So it's not his talents. Yeah, that's okay. Fine, he's picked up the right talents. He's got the right sort of gear. Then what's going on? I have no idea what's going on here. This is just upsetting, isn't it, guys? We just want a smooth run. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. Folk, we're vote kicking the tank. We're vote kicking the healer. I don't mind. Whatever. So what's wrong with our druid? He's not aware. Now, we could have, even have a poor UI. Now, what we need to consider is also that he could have a poor UI. We haven't seen him lagging around the screen, so we're going to go safely say he has not got a laggy connection. You might find a lot of guys who've got low DPS go, oh, lag, lag, lag. Really not the case. You can tell when someone's lagging. They'll be jumping across the screen. They might start running on the spot. I'm sure you guys have seen it in plenty of occasions. Is They'll be standing there running on the spot, really wondering what's going on. So our druid friend is doing something wrong. Now, let's have a quick look at his damage. Okay. Pretty easy to see from there what's wrong. He is not using his dots in any way. Let's see if he, let's actually do the total damage. Let's see what he's done. No, these dots should be much higher. He's used Hurricane. Not a big fan of Hurricane myself, I'm a druid. Sunfire. I would say he's not using his dots properly. He's not timing his dots. Sunfire should be way higher. In total, he's only done 341k damage. Um, really, really quite low. So this guy looks like he's not really using his dots a lot. Let's look at our damage, really, what we've done so far while these guys sort themselves out. Our main two damage. Now, you might think Living Bomb is such a pain to keep up. I've got to keep it on three targets. Remember, you can spread it with your Fire Blast after your initial three targets while your tank builds aggro. So Living Bomb has come out 2.28 million of our damage, okay? 
Really is really good, our living bomb. This is why you want it on all the time. It does so much damage. Uh, fireball, our filler, expected to be up there. We've had quite a few pyroblast procs. No problem at all. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on, guys. I'll try and edit it the guide. Uh, put that into a bit of a bloopers video, I think. We've got an ignite over there. Let's see if we can spread it. Oh, a bit touch too late. Never mind. Got a living bomb on both. Yeah. Keep it going. Nothing major. Let's do some single target for now. These are going to start splitting up, aren't they, as we know. What do we always enjoy on these? What can we say? We had some fun, didn't we? So let's click, carry on with our AoE. As you can see, getting down on the damage. Let's give it a quick evocate. We're not going to need it for the boss fight. Always make these decisions beforehand. Should we have combusted now? Not really. Boss fight's very shortly. It's not going to serve us too well to do that. Let's keep using our low spells. Now remember, these explode when they get low, so be aware of that. We always like it when the rogue explodes at the low health, don't we? Give it a sneaky drink. Still got all cooldowns up. Let's see if we can pull off. Oh, he pulled a little bit quick, so, but we've already started casting. We, what we certainly don't do is we don't stop casting. Let's get the mirror images going. Get the flame orb going. Now we're watching for this uh, fire cyclone that's going to come by. If it comes near us, we're just going to give it a little blink. Get out of the way. No worries. Give us some crits, baby. But luckily, it left us with a bloodlust ray. But we're going to save it for when he runs out of energy. Because whether or not you know it, he takes extra damage when he's in the middle. Oh, yeah. Two power blasts. Oh, oh, oh. Put it inside. Yes. Come to daddy. Keep those pyros coming. And here we go. Bloodlust it. Combust it. Kill it. That's what I'm talking about. Takes all this extra damage during this phase. Let's, let's cheese that damage. Why not? Let's hope we can get a heal before time runs out though. Come on, oh, healer is zoom. Not cool, guys. Not cool. Let's interrupt. Let's help these guys out. We want to make sure we get the kill. We don't want to wipe, do we? Damage is one thing, but wiping is certainly not fun. Not cool for anybody. I can't interrupt that. I'm sorry, chaps. You're going to have to try and do it yourself. Heroic right, calls of origination. Anything cool for us? Absolutely not. As normal, running the continuing theme of not getting anything wonderful for our little characters. Eighteen K DPS. Our low geared mage. As you can see, very easy class to play. Quite a few extra things we're going to work on um, in the advanced guide. I'll be using your extra spells and stuff, but nothing too serious there. Just to have some good fun. Really wonderful spec. Lot of RNG. Uh, I hope you catch you on the stream. I hope you come along. Come along and say hello. Ask me some questions. Leave me a comment. Anything like that. <laughs> and there you go. That's the kind of thing we love, don't we? We like some big rage. Later, guys.